Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a quick video tutorial on using scenes and patterns in machine. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with a few different machine tutorials every week. Alright, so let's get started. So let's begin by loading a drum kit. And you'll notice that it comes with a pattern programmed in by default, which we can hear just by hitting start, of course. All right, so editing and using patterns inside machine doesn't work the way that you might expect um, coming from other programs. So the first thing I tried to do with this uh, pattern here was to right click on it to copy it or paste it or whatever like I would do in Ableton. And uh, if you try to do that, you'll notice that you simply end up deleting the pattern. So let's control Z to undo that. And then we can access all of the patterns for a given group by clicking on the little down arrow here next to the group name. And you'll see we have these eight patterns that came preloaded in with the drum kit that I selected. And by clicking on one of the kits as you or patterns, as you can see, it loaded that pattern into the currently active scene. So we can create a new scene by pressing the little plus button here at the end of the last available scene. And by clicking, double clicking on that space, we can create a new pattern loaded into that scene. So I'm just going to make a really simple uh, drum beat here. And let's create a simple bass line to go on top of this. I'm not going to do anything too fancy here. So let's load up the bass sound. I'm going to program something in in the keyboard view here really quick. So on the right hand side at the top of our keyboard view, there's a pattern length parameter that we can use to change the length to whatever we want. And you'll notice up at the top here that the other patterns that we have in the same scene that are shorter than the longest pattern are just going to repeat for as long as they need to, to be, uh, take up the same amount of time. All right, so we have our very simple, very basic loop here. So let's say we wanted to make a simple variation on that. So we'll create a new scene and say we could load up the same drum uh, pattern and the same bass pattern. And we could just um, instinctively, I would just want to edit the new patterns that we just added. But unfortunately, when we change um, one instance of pattern one, it actually changes all instances of that pattern. So we need to come up with a different way to do things. So the easiest way is to open the menu here and you can actually right click on pattern one and select duplicate and that'll create a new pattern called pattern two that has the same properties as pattern one. Uh, alternatively, you can just um, create a new pattern and copy paste the notes from pattern one into pattern two. Make sure that you position your mouse and click on the root note that you want the pattern to start on when doing this to have everything paste to the proper location.
All right, so that's how patterns and scenes work in machine. I feel like there's still a little bit of growth to be done in this area. Um, like it's just not quite complete yet. There's a few things about it that feel a little unintuitive to me, but overall it's a pretty strong system. It's got a lot of depth to it. Um, it's integrated pretty well with the hardware. All right, this is Salamander Anagram. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please check out our website at machineskills.com and have a good week.